We're going to some fish market that we saw on Sweet and Tasty TV. Baby's asleep. So it's time to go somewhere and do something fun. Hi everybody, so we're at No Young Jean Fisheries Wholesale Market and this is sort of like the Tsukiji equivalent of Korea. I always start off the day with coffee. So good. So out of 700, uh -huh. about 500 still, four or 500 still remain in the original No Young Jean which used to be. And the new place has about, about 200 moved to the new place. Why? Why is that? <laughs> Because um, when they built this, they expected everyone, everyone to move uh, once it was completed, completed. But once it was completed, 200, I guess 200 vendors were satisfied with the deal, so they moved. While uh, the 500 said their, their square footage mm -hmm. in a location was reduced. What, what that is is basically they were illegally, well, kind of illegally setting up shop in front of their store uh -huh. to use more space in the the public domain. Uh -huh. But um, in the new store, you can't do it anymore. So obviously, they're going to have to reduce the area uh -huh. than what they used to. So they're saying that at some fair. Plus, they went from paying about five hundred dollar a month in lease uh -huh. for their land to paying seven to eight hundred. So about. 40% uh, increase, yeah. increase in rental so now they're saying we have less space to work with but we have to pay almost a double amount of rent mm -hmm. so it's not fair so uh, basically 500 people got to well I don't know if they got together but they're refusing to leave oh. so the city or the um, association for agriculture or something like that they're trying to force them out so there were plenty of clash um, throughout in the uh, last couple months and then both sides is, isn't budging this to negotiate because um, the, the city or the association is saying that hey we agree we know negotiated so we're not going to renegotiate mm -hmm. while they're saying unless you give us more space mm -hmm. and then uh, give or a fair rent a uh, monthly lease mm -hmm. we're not going to move so we're stuck with two Oh. Markets, the old and the new. Interesting. Constantly coming, trying to install cameras or uh, making excuses and trying to push people. Oh, turn off the light or electric. Start turning off. To, to turn off the electricity and stuff like that, uh -huh. so people can't work anymore. And force to <laughs> that lady is talking to someone on the phone. Uh -huh. like, Somebody that's far away. They have 
have this designated space, uh -huh. but then they ex extended it out. Uh -huh. So that's what they want to do. But the new shop, new building, they don't allow you to do that. You have to work within your space. Uh -huh. This place is so vintage. This place is super vintage. What is this? Bingo smoothie. Thank you, Sienna. Yeah, so they attempted to turn off the light. Uh huh. So they can't do business. Oh. And they're like forcing people, really pushing people to move out of here. Yeah. That one lady said she was sorry, she didn't see you. It's okay. So, she, so you, you shouldn't hurt that. that. Never been here either. Really? Yeah. How come? I don't know. It's like it's weird, right? You, you would think that there's a lot more foreigners uh -huh. or tourists come visiting here. Like, it's such a good place to kind of visit and explore and eat seafood. Yeah. I feel like it's um, as big or maybe bigger than. It's probably Tsuchi? bigger than Tsukiji. I think it is bigger than. Tsuchi. I think the place is it's a little bit more exotic. I would say the seafood market. The thing is, like any other sea market, seafood market, this place is a wholesaler. Uh -huh. So most seafood restaurants and other places, they all come here and kind of buy from these people. Do they come like super early? Yeah, super early. What time does this place and open? And at the same time, they expect people like us to come here and um, shop. It's just, yeah, maybe, maybe in sun on Sundays they're a little more crowded. Uh -huh. But they yeah, I, I'm a little surprised that it's not as crowded. Yeah, I think it should. It's I definitely like a, hardly anyone here. I feel like seafood is definitely a place to come. You ready, Sienna? Are you still cold? Then look over look at the sun. Second floor, there's an escalator going up to second floor. That's where the restaurants are. Oh, that's so interesting. you basically buy everything you want here mm -hmm. and then you go upstairs. Mm -hmm. Um or I think some places they'll you tell them and they'll sashimi and everything. Mm -hmm. We just go up and wait and and you basically pay for the setting. Oh. It's like bring your own fish kind of restaurant. Oh, okay. So they'll, they'll 
they'll cut up the fish and they'll sashimi it and stuff. Uh -huh. And then they'll send it to the restaurant. And then the rest of the bones and stuff, they'll pick it up as well and they'll make a soup with it. So we pay, if we want it, we pay like $10 and they'll make a nice soup by adding vegetables and stuff. And we get all these side dish and rice and stuff wow. to eat it with. So Which, that's sort of how seafood market is in Korea. We should just eat here. Hmm? We should eat here then. We can. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're here, so. So we could do crab, we could do... Let's walk around. What's the specialty see what of the cook. house? What's the osu soup? Like sashimi. Flounder like sashimi? Okay. Like hirame or. Um, oh, hirame. Let's get hirame. I love hirame. So here's a new market. As you can see, it's like very modern and it's very organized. Yeah. One thing I noticed is that the consumers seem to prefer this market because the other market has hardly any customers. And this market has a lot of people shopping around. And personally, as a consumer, I prefer this market because it seems more sanitary. What are those? Those are um, halibut. Oh. Smaller. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my So there's female and a male. The male is more expensive but bigger with a lot more meat. Female, she says because it, it has egg roll, crab roll, there's nothing to eat because all the nutrition goes to the egg. You're gonna need it. You gonna eat 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 it. You gonna Just crab and fish. Just crab and fish. Did you drink all that smoothie? That's why. Baby will fall. Baby will fall. <laughs> so how it works, right? Step one, you walk around and then pick a place. Step two, uh, decide what you want and then you tell them whether you take it to go or eat here in the second floor. Step three, um, she, if you don't have a place that you go to, she'll, she has a partner, uh, she Usually those stores partner up with one of the restaurants uh -huh. and she goes behind and push uh, some kind of a call button. Uh -huh. Somebody quickly comes and takes all the food and escorts us upstairs. You pay and you're there. <laughs> and then they'll, they'll basically charge us for like a setting and everything. Sam 
Tony used to make that expression too. It's so they add it for free. Is this the fish that we picked out? Yep. It's fast. Yeah. How do you know if they if they don't just have a the fish? Bone. The bone. Okay. How do you know if they don't just have a yeah, fish? They don't. They might have like already have like plates and plates. at a time. It's definitely not, it's very um, bland. It's not like funky either. Tina's trying to do what you're doing with the lettuce leaf. She's just breaking the lettuce leaf apart. Like she, after she saw you do that, she's like, look at her. Look at her. Ha, ha, ha. 